Now on DW01, the news, featuring the news presenter and James Thorpe. Hello and welcome to DWO News. What is a breaking story? It appears, but today we have more developments on the ongoing anti-Christmas saga. The man largely believed to be responsible for the cancellation of Christmas, wealthy London tycoon Mr. Scrooge, was disturbed during his sleep last night after reporting to the police that someone or something had broken into his luxury penthouse. Police officers are unable to locate any evidence of an intruder around the property, with Scrooge claiming the intruder simply walked straight through his front door. Yesterday evening, DW News commenced an investigation into a strange stranger allegedly sighted lurking round Trafalgar Square. The combination of these two incidents is likely no coincidence, and as such the interest of local ghost hunters has been sparked in London. We now hopefully go to James Thorpe at the London Ghost Club's official headquarters. I'm standing here, or possibly floating here today, at what is a rather overlooked London landmark. It is here for the past 150 years that people have gathered to search for answers to the mysterious and unknown. People like Charles Dickens, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and Peter Cushing have all been members of the society. But today I am here to ask for the opinion of local expert Mr Ectoplasm about what these mysterious sightings could mean for you, for me and for our Christmas cards. Mr Plasm. What can you tell me about this apparent ghostly intruder? Well, James, I can tell you that Mr. Scrooge has been visited by some form of apparition. Whether it's by accident, intentionally or otherwise, we believe this ghost means business. Sources close to me have confirmed that he was visited late at night for around 10 minutes. We have tried to get some camera footage from local CCTV, but a very angry traffic warden sent us away. Is this a government cover-up? Is Niles Crest truly corrupt? Do we need a general election? Mr Plasm, could we return to the subject of ghosts for a moment? What have your group been able to make of this grey figure sighted in Trafalgar Square? Well, it is the belief of our experts that the figure near the gallery is in fact not a ghost. He seems to be of some sort of poor, lost, horribly disfigured man with tentacles for a face. I see. So, should the general public be concerned for their safety if the real ghost returns? Uh, no, no. I believe if the real ghost does return, it'll be for Mr. Scrooge. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, James, and thank you to the London Ghost Club for their investigative work there. DWO News is prepared to officially confirm that the man in Trafalgar Square is not a ghost, and in fact seems to be friendly in asking for help. Whether the ghost cited by Mr Scrooge will return, however, is a story for another day. Right now, we will go to the weather with Sunny. Welcome to your once every so often weather report from DWO News and myself, Sonny. It's been an odd one. Continuing the yearly pattern that still confounds anyone with a basic understanding of the weather, snow suddenly appeared out of nowhere come December 1st. Yet it was gone almost as quickly as it appeared, displeasing everyone as they now had to go back to work and transport systems had to find new excuses. In the coming days, we have the least from the east, as no snow continues to fall. From the sounds of it, however, there may yet be some ghastly sights to be seen over the coming few weeks. That's right, make sure to be on the lookout for ghosts because for some reason they decided Halloween wasn't good enough for them this year. But that's all for now, because everything currently happening is already far more absurd than any of our false predictions could have been. Don't forget to tune in maybe another year and a half from now for your next DWO News weather report.